Another challenge in the exercise 9.3 is to find uh, the best way to visualize sales against the target. We used a Gauss chart, which is a non-standard chart uh, in Excel, but this time we are going to create a chart that is supported, but you need to uh, carefully uh, follow the instruction to show it as I'm going to uh, present. So we would like to compare sales and target by years for every region that we are going to create later and the visualization that we, I will pick for that is going to be a combo chart where my sum of sales is the clustered column and the target is the line with markers. This is step number one. Step number two, hide all of the unnecessary uh, information and hire also the legend because uh, you will see later we don't need the legend and apply a title uh, to the uh, to the chart then a trick with the uh, target value we don't want the line in here so you can turn off the outline for the line uh, but we would like to better highlight the marker in here. Uh, if you would try to use the uh, marker, which is a building marker, there are actually no good options uh, to have a horizontal marker, which is going to uh, support your needs, because if you start increasing its size, it's going to be really, really uh, thick. So the uh, workaround in here is to insert just on a cell level a simple shape like for example a, a line i'm doing right now copy it and paste it back to the chart if you want to repeat this step for example a line might be a bit thicker then copy and paste it as a marker once again and at the end we can also format a, a bit better the uh, sales value and what is more we need this uh, provide this sales versus target information on our uh, title to make sure the audience understands uh, what we are talking about i'm usually using symbols for that for example rectangle and the line that you can find somewhere uh, in the symbols that can be then inserted into the title and by doing so you can quite easily indicate what is the role of each of these uh, shapes on your chart. The final chart we cut and place it on a dashboard and this time I don't want the time slicer to filter the uh, years because otherwise I will just see a few elements in here so it's better to keep the time slicer disconnected 